and welcome back. Um, this is a um, progress video, really, um, based on the the forces that will uh, be uh, making notes of for the Ismus Uprising campaign. Um, this is a squad of the new uh, Skitari Rangers I um, recently purchased. Um, I really enjoyed these. I uh, really enjoy these models, so uh, I decided to uh, just go ahead and um, paint paint them up and sort of finish them off and do bits and pieces on them. Um, as you can see, um, it's a full squad of um, rangers there with full full weapon options, and um, yeah, really enjoyed it. And um, as you can also see, the uh, unique uh, Forge World sort of colour scheme that I've decided to go with. Um, yeah, so basically as you can see, uh, they're really nice, sort of, uh, instead of going with the sort of standard red, I've, I've gone with a nice dark sort of Caliban green colour, um, which I think works out really well uh, with this Guitari. Um I've seen quite a few other people do um, them in different colours, and um, what I thought with the with the models and stuff is that maybe um, in the future they could also maybe count as um, counts as um, Imperial Guard as well, different re different regiments and so on, bits and pieces like that. So uh, sort of multi-purpose models and bits and pieces like that. So yeah, so that was my thinking of uh, doing a unique color scheme and so on, and. Um, yeah, I'll sort of move a few of these models around and stuff. Um, as you can see, it's a sort of basic sort of colour scheme. Um, just using a new GoPro camera at the moment, so just trying that out as well. So you can see sort of basic colours I've used and stuff. Um, the video seems to look quite nice on this. Um, so I've sort of spent, spent a bit more time on, on the um, sort of alpha there um, as well with the different weapons. Uh, different lighting effects on, on the sword and so on, so that's pretty cool. And with the um, sort of sort of plasma and arc weapons, uh, used a different couple of different glazes and highlights and bits and pieces on there. May I may even um, highlight it again as well because can't really see much difference in there in the blue. Um, so that was my thinking on those. Um, this guy here as well came out really well. Um, the base, um, I've used the Agrillion Earth um, base uh, system um, and as you can see from, from the base there as well, it's pretty, um, comes out pretty well, so that's pretty cool. And um, yeah, so I didn't go with the Mars, Mars base one, just come with this original sort of brown colour uh, and maybe come up with a bit of fluff that sort of uh, tells the reason of why it's that colour and bits and pieces like that. So, uh, yeah, um, so this is really just a, a quick sort of update video um, of, of where I am with painting. I managed to complete this squad quite quite quickly, really, so that was good. Uh, I really like these models as well. They're really nice to paint and um, assemble and bits and pieces on there. And, and you can see from the back, back as well, um, I decided to get another another squad of these models as well and put them together as the um Skitari Vanguard. So you can see obviously the guys behind there. It's another ten ten men Vang Vanguard squad. And uh yeah they're really cool as well and they they look very similar to the um solar auxiliary people as well. So um they they'd be much easier to use as sort of like counts as solar auxiliary in a 40k, uh, 30k universe and so on so that's pretty cool um, recently had a, a battle which I managed to use uh, a mixture of these um, Adaptus Mechanicus um, forces along with the um, Mechanicum stuff from Forge World I recently got from, from Salute um, that battle worked out really well and uh, I was very surprised of how how strong the actual uh, Skitari are uh, with their sort of um, strength for toughness, um, two wounds and bits pieces like that, and their weapons and so on. And um, I was facing a Dark Angel 
Black Edge of Force, and um, believe it or not, a squad of uh, Skitari Rangers managed to um, kill and defeat a squad of Deathwing Knights. So yeah, that was quite impressive. Um, and my, my opponent at the time just didn't think that was going to happen, so uh, um, it might be just a combination of uh, a couple of bad rolls and bits and pieces like that, but uh, um, it's a dice game, so yeah, sometimes this happens and sometimes it doesn't. Um, and then also um, I had this funny situation where the, um, the sort of plasma guy here, um, he was just about to take his shot. Um, and uh, I rolled three ones, and uh, the weapon went hot. <laughs> he caused a strength uh, strength attack on himself, and uh, um, he died pretty <laughs> well. So, so he just basically just loaded up his weapon and then uh, blew up in a in a puff of smoke. So that's pretty cool. Okay, thanks thanks for watching, guys. Um, I will um, be uploading a few more videos as we go along. Um, please. Uh, check out the Isthmus Uprising uh, blog and um, yeah, please like, um, subscribe and comment to this video as well. Thanks a lot guys, see you later. Bye.